All right, qualifying comes to a close. It's time to go racing. Up front is Michael Crafton and Kyle Martin on the front row. Casey Pekela, Byron Bartlett have the second row. Edmund Jones, Brendan Tymon on the third row. Jason Blatz and Fred Houle have the fourth row. Ignacio Adams and Ricky Wick Wentworth rounding out the top ten. Preston, Preston DeMello in 11th. Rusty Modesty in 12th. 13th is Andrew Thornton. Terry DeGay in 14th, Ed Jones in 15th, Ryan Bean in 16th, and 17th and 18th are the race control. The cone car will not be in use tonight for a number of different reasons, so they will be restarting. On restarts, they will line up by iRacing. And everybody is rolling off. Make sure you drop in the comments. Let us know who you're cheering for here tonight. Race car will drop off out of turn four. We'll go green flag racing for 65 laps from Hickory. Pace car is in. Green flag is in the air. They're down and away. Michael Crafton leads them into turn number one. And it is getting sketchy mid-pack. A lot of guys really loose. No caution yet. We've got a couple cars stopped down on the bottom. Lap number one is complete. We've got more cars going around. Kyle Martin is going around. Preston DeMello. Let's take a look and see what happened. Caution is out. And it looks like a lot of guys just losing the back end. A few of them getting caught up behind. And chaos ensues. Ed Jones Sr. coming out of the turn. Car stopped, tried to get out of the way on the brakes, but Terry DeGate gets right, there, has nowhere to go. And at the speeds these cars are running, there's not a lot of room for mistakes. And there's not a lot of room to check up either. Once a problem starts, it's hard to stop. Looks like Brendan Tymon and Jason Blatz were the ones that spun on turn one. Looks like a couple of guys just got a little too deep into the corner and the guys back behind had nowhere to go. The big winner so far is Ricky Wentworth. He has up five spots, Rusty Modesty up six, Andrew Thornton actually up six as well. Several guys picking up a lot of spots just avoiding the chaos in front of them. Should get the one to green this time by. Lights are out on the pace car. They will stack back up for the restart. Michael Crafton, Casey Pekela on the front row. Casey has an opportunity to pick up a few points on Fred Hool here. Pace car is in. Green flag is in the air. They're down and away. Michael gets a good jump. Casey Pekela into second. 
Fred Hull losing a couple spots. He is back to fifth, and Andrew Thornton up already to sixth place. Good restart out of everybody. Get the heat in the tires. These cars will start to grip, but it takes a few laps to build up enough heat for these cars to grip, and caution is out again. here there was a car blinking did not see any incidents on track though Michael Crafton still has the lead. We'll see if race control shortens the caution here. Byron Bartlett second, Casey Pekela third, Ricky Wentworth fourth, Fred Hool in fifth. Andrew Thornton in up to sixth now, Brendan Tymon in seventh, Rusty Modesty in eighth, Jason Blatz is ninth, and Edmund Jones rounding out the top ten. Edmund came into the night with the points lead, uh, but just two points. Ahead of Fred Hool, Fred currently running in fifth would take the points lead. Two weeks from tonight, the season finale from Five Flags. And with the points battles being as close as they are, anything could happen. Lights are out on the pace car. They'll stack back up again. This time it'll be Crafton and Bartlett on the front row. Casey Pekela and Ricky Wentworth on the second row. Fred Hull, Andrew Thornton on the third row. Pace car is in. And they're down and away. Green flag in the air. Michael gets a good jump off into turn one. And we've got a couple of cars really making some moves mid-pack. Looks like Rusty Modesty is really sending it. Ricky Wentworth up on the high side trying to take third. He is going backwards. Fred Hull drifts up a little bit and manages to make it work, he is up to fourth. Meanwhile, coming into the night, Edmund Jones had the points lead. He has dropped back to 11th since the start of this race. Michael Crafton out front running the fastest laps and starting to pull away from Casey Pekela in second. Byron Bartlett in third, caution is out. It looks like Ignacio Adams and Preston DeMello involved. Oh, Preston looked like he bounced off the outside wall and came down. Ignacio had nowhere to go. Looks like something, uh, looks like Kyle Martin might have been caught in that as well. No, Kyle, uh, no, it was Kyle was not involved in that. However, it looks like his connection has gone away. Ryan Bean getting back to the lead lap. Couple of drivers hitting pit road. Looks like Ed Jones Sr. and Ignacio Adams.
as they pace around. Michael Crafton has been able to jump the, get a good jump on the restart. And as fast as he is, he just starts pulling away, right away. Casey Bacala just doing everything he can to not let him get too far away. Casey's going to have to find a way to keep up on the restart, anticipate the restart a little bit better. But if Michael Crafton changes his restart uh, area every time, he could throw these guys for a loop. Pace car is in. Michael Crafton is going green flag in the air. Casey Bacala stays in second. Bartlett to third. And Fred Houle trying to make something happen up on the high side. Not enough momentum up there yet. Meanwhile, Andrew Thornton is fighting his way forward. He is battling Rusty Modesty. These two have been battling for several laps now. And Fred Houle is drifting back. Oh, Fred gets the wall. And Rusty gets into him. Everybody saves it. Great driving by all of them. There was some great saves right there. Michael Crafton just ran the fastest lap of the race. Caution. Looks like Ed Jones Sr. Oh, it looks like Ed... Looks like, uh, I think that was Ignacio behind him, just drove in. A little bit deeper, Ed Jones got on the brakes a little bit sooner than Ignacio was expecting, and they get together. Michael Crafton still dominating here. Just ran the fastest lap of the race, a 13.37. Casey Pekela's fastest lap so far has been a 13.45. Looks like Ignacio is going to get waved back around. He'll come around and be at the tail end of the lead lap again. They should get the one to green this time. No, delay on the caution. Just about halfway already. They're stacking back up for the restart. Michael Crafton in control as the pace car drops in. And he's down and away, green flag in the air. Right at the halfway point. Oh, we've got cars spinning through turns one and two. Edmund Jones, the points leader, coming into the night, is involved. And it looks like the 14 just drifts up right into his left rear and sends him around. Ryan Bean, right behind, has nowhere to go.
That's going to put Rusty Modesty back. Rusty is back uh, on pit road. Let's see if we can get a look at Edmund's car. Not looking too terribly bad despite the hit he took. And looking for Ryan Bean's car. Looks like Ryan had to tow to pit road. He took a pretty hard hit. Casey Pekela in second. Ryan, uh, Byron Bartlett third. Brendan Tymon in fourth. Andrew Thornton in fifth. Ricky Wentworth sixth. Fred Houle seventh. Terry Dugay eighth. Edmund Jones is ninth. And Ignacio Adams up to tenth. Michael Crafton qualified in first and has been there the whole race. Nobody can touch him. He gets the best, he gets to control the restart, gets the best jump. And everybody is chasing him down. Plus, he's uh, extremely fast. He has been the fastest track car on track consistently all night. As they stack back up, pace car dropping off, will drop off out of turn four. Michael Crafton can start as soon as the pace car hits. There goes the pace car. Crafton, a little bit of a blink. He is down and away. Green flag in the air. Oh, a little bump in a, oh, the top four are all together. We've got a car around. Everybody saves it. Oh no, they don't. Big chaos behind caution. Alright, let's see where things started to go wrong here. Fred Houle back behind as the leaders, the top three, or uh, second through fourth, start leaning on each other. There's Andrew Thornton comes up right behind as guys just getting turned around, getting into each other, and chaos ensues. Andrew Thornton is the big winner out of that mess because he picks up a bunch of spots. Uh, he is up from th uh, starting in 13th to second place. Meanwhile, Byron Bartlett, who got turned, he is on pit road. Thornton has managed to keep that car clean through most of the incidents. I think he got caught in the one with Edmund Jones, but not very badly, and is making his way forward quickly. He is the biggest mover of the race so far. As mentioned, he started in 13th. He's now up in second. Looks like they are delaying the green, trying to get everybody back on track, lined up, and ready to go. Can Andrew Thornton do anything with Crafton on the restart here? Lights are out on the pace car. Crafton and Thornton have the front row. Ricky Wentworth, Casey Piquet left the second row. Terry Dugay and Edmund Jones now up on the third row. Edmund starting to make his way back forward as he continues to try and extend his points lead over Fred Houle. Pace car is in. Crafton is away. Green flag is in the air. Andrew Thornton loses a spot to Casey Pekela on the restart. Mid-pack, a lot of guys pushing really hard and leaning on each other. More than you'd expect with what is essentially an open wheel car. Look at that. Oh, Edmund is in the wall hard. Caution. And it looks like Ignacio Adams.
got hit a couple of times. They were trying to make it three wide at the back of the pack. That is what drew the caution. And let's see if we can see the incident with the points leader. Watch Edmund Jones' car. He is up top as Fred Hool is battling with the 60. And Fred gets bumped, gets loose, and Edmund goes out to the wall. A lot more guys leaning on each other the last couple of races. Despite these cars not having full bodies, you don't expect to see a lot of guys leaning on each other and slamming into each other. But uh, the last few races, yeah, they've been using what little body panels, uh, the tires, the roll cages, everything. All right, so Crafton and Pekela have the front row. Andrew Thornton and Ricky Wentworth on the second row. Fred Hool in fifth now. Terry DeGay in sixth. Edmund Jones now back in 11th. And he is a lap down. So Fred Hool right now has the advantage in the points. Lights are out on the pace car. Pace car is in. Green flag is in the air. Michael Crafton gets a good jump again. Casey Pekela managing to hold on to second. And here comes Ricky Wentworth on the high side. It's the only one that's been able to make that high side really work, but loses some ground in three and four. Fred Hool fighting his way back into contention. Ricky Wentworth not done with him yet. Fred drifts up the track. They lean on each other. Fred gets into Rusty. Fred is losing a ton of ground here. We've got a car around caution. Looks like Jason Blatt also went around, and that's what drew the caution. Fred just bouncing off Ricky Wentworth down into Rusty Modesty. Now let's see what happened with Jason Blatt. All these incidents happening right in front of him. He tried to get through. Terry Dugay, he had to check up. Terry Dugay had nowhere to go and gets into the back bumper. It does look like Edmund Jones, the points leader before tonight, is going to get waved around. He'll be at the tail end of the lead lap in 11th place. Whereas Fred Hool currently in 8th. And just two points, two points separated those two drivers coming into tonight. Rusty Modesty just hit pit road so that is a big help for Edmund Jones. Not so much for Fred Hool. Michael Crafton trying to keep the tires warm so he'll have the grip on the restart. No, it does not look like Edmund's going to get the wave around on this one. Thought he was in the lucky dog position. Apparently not. Well, wait a minute. We'll have to wait and see.
Dusty Modesty came back out. He has managed to maintain the lead lap in 10th place. Michael Crafton trying to uh, bump the pace car to go a little faster. <laughs> Jimmy, uh, it's certainly looking that way. <laughs> Pace car is in. Crafton is going. Green flag in the air. And here comes Andrew Thornton for second. He's got the nose in on Pekela. Terry Dugay up to fourth now. Ricky Wentworth fifth. And look at this battle back behind as every driver is trying to advance with five laps to go. Trying to get as many positions as they can. Four laps to go. Michael Crafton has a six-tenth of a second lead over Casey Pekela, Andrew Thornton in third, Terry DeGay in fourth, and Ricky Wentworth in fifth. Brendan Tymon in sixth. Ignacio, after several incidents early on, has managed to work his way back to seventh. Blatz is in eighth. Fred Hool in ninth. Rusty Modesty is the last car on the lead lap in tenth. Points leader Edmund Jones, a lap down in eleventh. Two laps to go for Michael Crafton. White flag for Crafton as he goes around one more time. He's got over a second lead on second place, Casey Bekela, Andrew Thornton in third. Out of turn number four, Crafton dominates, leads every lap, and wins the race. Casey comes home in second. Andrew Thornton finishes third. And let's see if we can get a word first with our third place finisher. Hey, Andrew, this is Doug. You got me? I uh, got you loud and clear, Doug. Hey, buddy. Uh, that was a wild one. Oh, yeah. yeah to say the least. <laughs> Just uh, got lucky a couple times and stayed out of most of the messes and seemed like it turned out all right for us it definitely did you started in 13th to uh, come up to third place and to really i mean you got caught in one early with edmund but to come through that big one and pick up so many spots there and it looked like you had a shot at the win at, for the win at one point oh um, man i don't know if i had anything for michael up there but uh i thought i could go toe to toe with casey at least on the restarts <laughs> Well, uh, you definitely had a great run. It looked like you were going to get Casey on that last restart. You got the nose in there, but he just managed to edge you out off the turn. Still, a third place finish, uh, not bad. No, not at all. Not not bad for a uh, back marker anyway. <laughs> well, congratulations, buddy. Go celebrate. All right, man. Thanks, Doug. All right, let's see if we can find second place Casey Pekela. Hey, Casey, this is Doug. You got me? Hey, Casey Pekela, this is Doug in the booth. You got me? I got you. Hey, man, congratulations on uh, what was a wild second place finish. Oh, thank you. Uh, man, uh, Kraft in there, his jumps on the start, he, he, had, he had me nailed. But uh, started to get the time his timing down a little bit towards the end there. And I was able to, you know, even on the outside, I was able to fend off Thornton and all the other guys. I think at one point Byron was behind me, and uh, and it was it was tough. It it was a battle. It looked like anybody that got to the high side really struggled, but uh, when Thornton got the nose in, you just seemed to get enough of a runoff too to uh, pull out and go get the line you wanted. Yeah, I, uh, going into two there, I, I knew I sent it in pretty hard, and I, I got on the brakes, and then about halfway through the corner, I just I pumped the gas just a little bit to keep my momentum up, and it seemed seemed to do the trick and sa saved me there. <laughs> well, you definitely had a great run tonight. You come home in second, man, and another great points night as well. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you.
All right, let's see if we can get our winner. Hey, Michael, this is Doug in the booth. You got me? Yeah, I got you. Hey, man, congratulations on a, a dominant win. Led Started on the pole and led every single lap. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it was a good one. I wish we could have got some more green flag runs, but uh, towards the end there, it was starting to get a little bit better, but uh, maybe we can work on getting it green more, and then it'd be a lot better. But, yeah, it, it was a good run. I'm glad to get the win again. I have to say, man, it, you, the green flag run seemed to lean towards your uh, your, your car because uh, you had a one-second lead in just the final five laps. So you probably would have ended up lapping about half the field before the night was out. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was starting to get in a pretty good rhythm uh, just trying to figure it out. Uh, you really got to watch out coming down the front stretch. You can almost nail the wall. It got me one lap, so... But yeah, it's a, this is a fun track, and it was a fun race. I'm looking forward to the next one. All right, buddy. Congratulations. Great win tonight. Thank you. And Michael Crafton brings home another win this season. What a great and exciting night of racing from Hickory. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It has been a lot of fun. Hope you guys had as much fun as we did. Y'all have a great night.